Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus a to power 3, this is equal to 2. So what is the value of a? Now solution here, we have a plus a to power 3, this is equal to, to 2. So this, this is the same thing as a plus a to power 3, this is equal to, we can express 2 as 1 plus 1. So let's take 1 plus 1 on the left hand side. Let's take 1 plus 1 on the left hand side. So here you have a. So taking 1 plus 1 on the left hand side, this means we have a cubed. That is a plus a cubed. Subtract 1. Subtract 1. We can express this as a cubed. This is equal to, to 0. So this means that we can rearrange this as a subtract 1 plus a to power 3 subtract 1 to power 3 this is equal to 0 so we have this as a to power 3 subtract 1 to power 3 plus a minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this is this is actually this is actually in the form of m to power 3 subtract n to power 3 which we can express as m minus n m squared plus m n then plus n squared so applying this property then here 8 power 3 subtract 1 to power 3 this is the same thing as a minus 1 a squared sub plus that is plus a times one this is a plus one squared which is one this is equal to let's call this equation one so here we'll have a minus one a squared plus a plus one plus a minus one this is equal to zero so since a minus 1 is common here, we factor out a minus 1 so that a will have a squared plus a plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here. The first part is a minus 1. This is equal to 0. The second part is a squared plus a then plus 1 plus 1, this is 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this implies that we have the first value of a, that is a1, equal to 1. The second part here is the quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. So from here, we have the value of a equal to 1, the value of b equal to 1, and the value of c equal to 2. Now, this implies that we can assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 times a times c. And this is the same thing as 1 squared subtract 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2. So here we have 1 squared, this is 1, subtract 4 times 2, this is 8, and therefore here we have minus 7, which is less than 0. And therefore, this implies we have two complex solutions here. We will have two complex solutions here, or two complex roots. So let's solve for these two complex uh, solutions or roots as follows. Now let's solve for these two complex roots, that is a2 and a3, by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that now here we'll have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
which is minus 7 which is minus 7 here and all this divided by 2 times a which is 1 so you will have minus 1 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 7 as 7 times minus 1 divided by 2 so this is the same thing as minus 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 7 divided by 2 so this implies that a2 is equal to minus 1 plus i square root of 7 divided by 2 and a2 or a3 this is the same thing as minus 1 subtract i square root of 7 divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions that we have and therefore we have three solutions we have three solutions to this algebra problem we have three solutions with a1 a1 is equal to 1 which is a real solution which is a real solution we have a2 and a3 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 7 divided by by 2 so let's verify here let's verify that a1 which is equal to 1 will give us a real solution now if you recall here if you recall here we have that a plus a to power 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 and the value of a in this case is equal to 1 so therefore we have 1 plus 1 cubed this is supposed to give us a value of 2 so this is 1 plus 1 cubed is the same thing as 1 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 so 1 plus 1 this is 2 and this is equal to, to 2 so the left add side is equal to the right add side and therefore a1 this one will give us a real solution and these are two complex solutions solutions so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe subscribe my good people thank you so much